uh, biomedical researchers say they are making huge gains in closing the gaps within research on diseases facing people in Africa. The Biomedical Medical uh, uh, Research Institute in Cape Town was officially opened in April this year with the aim of improving the detection and management of infectious as well as non-infectious diseases. Now, over 500 medical scientists and students here are zooming in on the mechanisms of different illnesses. Our reporter Kevin Brunt uh, visited the facility and compiled this report. This is home to the Billion Rand Biomedical Research Institute, located at Stellenbosch University's Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences. Here, experts are putting the pathophysiology of disease conditions such as tuberculosis, cardiometabolic disease, HIV, diabetes and neurological disorders under the microscope. The Institute has already um, gained a lot of ground in terms of its research over this short period of time that it's um, now been launched. Uh, for example, we have recently been very successful in being awarded EDCTP uh, funding of 5 million euros together with our Center for Epidemic Response and Innovation, our Animal Tuberculosis Group, our SATB Bioinformatics Initiative, uh, the immunology groups, and these uh, colleagues have all partnered together, all colleagues um, working in this um, research institute. Uh, to look at uh, pathogen uh, disease in Africa and uh, looking specifically at preventing and um, uh, addressing uh, the disease in Africa. So it is a collaboration of our institution with colleagues in Kenya, in Mozambique. One of the research groups focuses on why some people develop tuberculosis and others don't. And we specifically focused on the human host and their genetics. So not all people who are exposed to Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacterium that causes TB, will go on to their disease. And we know that the environment and social circumstances can contribute to this, but the host's the DNA also contribute. The Neuropsychiatric Genetics Research Group aims to better understand psychiatric disorders. So we've got, we've got a, a, a kind of a three-way um, research unit. We've got the virtual reality unit, we've got the psychophysiology um, laboratory, and then we've got this, which is the molecular um, laboratory. And all of this is to investigate um, the causes of psychiatric disorders. Mostly we focus on uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and depression, but we also have projects uh, dealing with schizophrenia um, and other psychiatric disorders. At the Center for Cardiometabolic Research in Africa, scientists have launched new collaborative projects, one of which focuses on how chronic stress impacts people's well-being. And we find that the mitochondria, I always call it the ESCOMs of the cell, they become dysfunctional, so it's a bit of load shedding there. And so that, we believe, will impact ultimately on the organismal well-being and health. So as a result of that, I've started a new study with CPUT where we're going to look at first-year students because students face a lot of mental health issues and stress. And we're going to look at stress in this group, cohort, and specifically focus on the ESCOMs in those um, students, the mitochondrial function, because we've got some fantastic facilities in our building on this floor, state of the art to look at mitochondrial function. So that was one of the f uh, areas we've since developed. The World Health Organization stresses that around 41 million people globally lose their lives to non-communicable diseases that could have been prevented. Medical scientists have therefore underscored the importance of research to help improve the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of these illnesses. Kevin Brandt, Cape Town.